We're going to look at three different concepts of subtraction here. There's lots of different ways to look at most operations. Um, let's just get started with the first one, which is the most basic, but sometimes confusing. So we've got Jamal has 12 cents. He gives seven cents to a charity. How many cents does he have left? So Jamal has 12 cents, right? He gives seven cents to a charity. How much does he have left? Let's look at this one. We can recognize that it's 12 take away 7 equals something, but we're going to look at this a little bit more. And take away is a little bit confusing on this one because of he's giving it away. Nobody's taking it from him. So it's still called the takeaway concept, but it's, for some people it's a little bit weird. So you can't take 7 from 2. You can't take 7 pennies from this amount. So first we need to do the thing that's called borrow or regroup. In this case, we need to exchange since I'm using money. So we're going to get rid of the dime boop, and replace it with 10 pennies, which then gives us, don't stick, 12 pennies. We replaced the dime for these 10 pennies and we already had the two pennies from the 12 cents we had before. And now we can take away seven from that since we regrouped and instead of having a dime and two pennies or a ten and two ones we now have twelve ones and we can take away seven pretty easily i think i'm going to do it this way boop they are gone we took them away and our answer is a five which you can show with base blocks or bundling. I just happen to want to use pennies for this one so this problem i'm going to write out a slightly different way in order to talk about some vocabulary that we don't usually talk about. This thing that we start a subtraction problem with is the minuend. This is the subtrahend. The thing that we're subtracting is that. And then our answer is the difference. So a little bit of vocabulary to help you out here. Minuend minus subtrahend equals difference. 12 minus 7 gave us a 5. Okay, so this is kind of one of the most basic fundamental subtraction properties or concepts and um, some people love it and it's the most basic and almost everybody teaches it, but it is sometimes confusing because nobody's taking that seven cents away from Jamal. He voluntarily gave it to charity. So um, takeaway sometimes, one of the other times it's confusing is when you talk about eating something because it's not gone, it's just in your tummy. So that gets confusing too. But the takeaway concept really is there's an initial amount and then you take something away. Um, so let's look at the next example and see what kind of concept that is. Next, Jamie has 12 cents, right? And Isaac has seven cents. Here's Isaac's seven cents. Maybe I zoomed in a little too far. Isaac has seven cents. How much more money does Jamie have? So this one is looking at it a little bit differently, but it's kind of hard to compare these because of that dime. So we're going to make an exchange. Okay, instead of the dime to make it easier to compare, we're going to take away the dime and exchange it for 10 cents because they're the same thing. Let's see if this all fits. It all kind of fits, but I'm going to need to zoom out. So hold on just a second. Here we go. I spread it out a little bit so that you could see it more clearly. We've got Jamie's 10, 11, 12 cents, and Isaac's 7 cents. And we're saying how much more does Jamie have than Isaac has? And this concept you're comparing, you're finding a difference between the two by comparing them. So if Jamie has 12 cents and Isaac has 7 cents, you can line these up one to one and look at how many more um, Jamie has than Isaac. So one, two, three, four, five more than Isaac. So that's called the comparison concept. Now I've just drawn pink dots to represent the pennies we had. These were Jamie's pennies. These were Isaac's pennies. They have this many pennies, the same. And then Jamie has this many more. Jamie has... Um, five more than Isaac or whatever you want to say. So this one is called the comparison concept. Up above, when Jamal had money and then some of the money went away, we call that 
the takeaway concept. So takeaway concept, comparison concept. They're similar, but they're not the same. They all, 12 minus 7 gives you the same answer, but there's different ways to process what subtraction means. Taking things away, comparing things, and then I'm going to do one more that will involve a little bit more vocabulary. In this case, John has 7 cents. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And it asks how much more he needs to get to 12 cents. So what else do we need to add to it? This is a missing add end concept, and I'll write it out um, in numbers in a little bit. So in order to get to 12 cents, we're going to add some to this. So we've got 7. Let's see what we need to add. 8, 9, 10, 11. 12. So the missing add in here is the 5 and once we have that 5 we can go ahead and make our exchanges to make it look like the 12 cents that we're looking for. So with that missing add in concept now I'm going to write out the equations for it and we'll talk about other ways to represent it. With the missing add in concept it's 7 plus what gives us 12. So when you have an addition problem, there's an add end and another add end that happens to be missing and a sum. Okay, so we know the sum, we know one of the two add ends, and then what we do is we figure out what we have to add to get there. Um, there's lots of different ways to present this, um, and sometimes exchanges or bundles or something are needed. So in this case the missing add end is a 5 which we showed with the coins and I guess I should probably show that with base blocks too. Let me think. All right here we go with base blocks. We've got 7. What do we need to add to it to get 12? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there are the, whoop that went off the screen. Hold on. Let me shrink this a little bit. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now it fits on the screen. So we needed to add 5 more to get to our 12. Let's go ahead and do our exchange really quick to make sure that we agree that this really does look like a 12. So let's see. These are all nicely sized. So we can just look and shrink these guys all together and make a very nice, easy, exchange. Whoop! Those guys go away. This guy comes in. Now it looks like a 12 and you could see what our missing add end was. I hope this quick little video helps you see that there really are so many ways to look at subtraction. There are things I didn't show in this one, but they are kind of unique and different and some people see one way way better than they see another way, um, or they see subtraction in only one way. Um, so it's nice to have lots of different ways to look at things. Um, and it is, it's hard sometimes to draw some of these things, but when you're doing it in the classroom, you're actually physically showing what's happening. So it's usually relatively straightforward. Hopefully this helped.